Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's new show time. Ooh. One that this one is very, very, very excited so about. So hyped. We're oh going to be God. watching episode one of Invincible. We're in a freaking decade for this show. Yeah. It better be good. <laughs> so he's a big fan of the comic. So this is an animated show, which... I'm a little bit iffy about, but that's only just because, like, yeah. it's, I don't know, there's not, I say there's not a lot of animations and stuff that have, like, that, like, get me to sort of react that much, because I guess a lot of the things I've kind of watched more, tend to be more, like, you're the anime guy and stuff, right? Um, yeah. Yes. I'm less so, I <laughs> like a lot more live action stuff, but, I mean, there's, like, there's still, like, up yeah, Toy say, Story if, and stuff. If you, if like, you can watch the opening sequence of Up and not cry, you don't have a soul. Yeah. So yeah, so is that, so I'm just like I'm interested to see what this will be like. But uh, you know, it's it's Robert Kirkman, which is exciting. One of the only real sort of graphic novels that I've ever loved is Walking Dead, which yeah. is obviously also Kirkman, and that was. That was because I was firstly into the show, but I do really, really love the comics as well. So, so it's going to be, I know, and also anybody who watches Walking Dead knows what Kirkman's like yep. and what his brain is like. So, yep. also, the cast list or voice list rather Insane. on this is ridiculous. So, oh, I mean, to name a few, we've got Sandra O, oh, J.K. Simmons, Stephen Yun, who obviously played Glenn. He is the main guy in this right yep he is invincible and then you've got Zazie oh, Speets Mahershala Ali Chad L. Coleman who played Tyrese in The Walking Dead Michael Cudlitz who played Abraham we've got Mark Hamill who's that <laughs> <laughs> why does that name and face why seem familiar before? So, Luke fucking Skywalker we've got John Hamm Lenny James who played Morgan in Walking Dead Ross Marquand who plays Aaron <laughs> Sonequa Martin Green, who played Sasha in The Walking Dead, and is also in the only reason I watched Star Trek Discovery. Yeah, We've got Lauren Cohan, who's Maggie, Zachary freaking Quinto playing yeah. Robot, one of the best pieces of casting I've ever Gillian seen. Julian Jacobs, oh, Jason Manzu Manzukas, yeah, I think so. Yeah, Kari Payton, who Payton, it's not Payton, it's Payton, but he plays King Ezekiel. In The Walking Dead. So, <laughs> Seth Rogen as well. I mean, wow. Uh, interesting fact, Seth Rogen is actually an, an Invincible super fan and was working on his but own... Not surprising, really. He so. was working on his own live-action adaption, which never got made. And when he realised, when he found out that Amazon were doing an anim animated show, he was like, fuck it, sign me up. And I think he's also EP for the show. Like, he's, he's a huge, huge well, supporter he, of this he's, series. He's a, one of the creators, isn't he, in, in The Boys? Yeah. And... Quite a few things. From, he's, he's a real from kind a of little bit of what theme. you obviously know a lot more about Invincible, but it is quite a sort of dark. <laughs> like, uh, you have like no comic. idea. So, like, oh yeah, it's a cartoon based on a comic. It's going to be nice and sweet. Yeah, but no, but it's another kind of like in a way a bit of a deconstruction of yeah, a typical so, like yeah. superhero story, which is obviously a lot of what the boys is yeah. like, which is again a comic book yep. adaptation. But you can see why Seth Rogen. Would be would fun. enjoy. He was he was at the um his EP for Preacher as well, oh, which is another Garth Ennis yeah. comic adaption. Wasn't was Kirkman also involved with that? No, no. Okay, getting myself confused. But yes. you, yeah. So you've been doing uh, comic reviews, yes. right? Of... Um, in well, I, I've been a huge fan of this series for years. I've read the, the series through more times than is probably healthy. And so recently I did a series of comic retrospectives where I read each book and kind of wrote my thoughts about what happens and the twists and kind of what I think about the character development and all that. 25 freaking articles over the space of 25 weeks and I really deep dived into the series. And actually it, was, it wasn't just great at refreshing my memory because if anyone's watched more of our videos, I'll know I have the worst memory in the world. But actually really kind of taking the time to break down the events of the series. Really kind of just, it made me realise just how well written this show is. And although I'm not going to lie, he does drop the ball a couple of times. There's a few arcs that don't comic, quite... The comic, you mean. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, sorry, yeah. There's a few arcs in the comic that don't quite play out the way they should. Um, I think it's, it's still just, it's, it's an amazing journey and I really can't wait to go on it again in a new media. 
because while there are there are a few places which don't quite work out, he has said that because he wrote the first, what, what a lot of people don't realize, he actually started Invincible before Walking Dead. It was um, Invincible issue one came out when he was like twenty six or something. Mm. It was one of his first published comics. And basically, he's he's grown a lot as a writer since then. So what he's done is, when he had this chance, he's gone back and he's fixed a lot of the earlier mistakes and kind of things that this, you know he's now realised maybe he didn't quite treat as respectfully as they should have been. He's changing for this show. So although I have seen, I have read the comic before, I do know the plot. From what I understand, there will be just as many surprises for me as there are for people that haven't seen the show. What's well, which leads me on to a bit of kind of housekeeping we kind of have to do. There are some huge, shocking reveals in this series. This is not a simple story. So I'm sure there are people out there who, like me, have read the comics and are very familiar with this tale. But I would wager the majority of people aren't. So if we could keep the comment section for these videos spoiler-free, that would be amazing. Because I mean, just remember how kind of amazed you were when you first read these moments don't kind of rob someone else of that feeling so just keep it all you can however if you yeah. want to talk to him about spoiler stuff give us a message like a private message yeah. over on our twitter which the link is down below in the description Any excuse and i promised heard. to not read it <laughs> so yeah. Yeah. Um, if you if you want to speak to both of us comments either here or on twitter if you want to speak about spoilers in relation to the comic for Invincible, then just message us. send us a message over on Twitter and he will respond. And um, one, this kind of is one rule that I put in place for myself. I'm not, I'm banning the phrase, that's not how it went in the comics from my lexicon for the next probably 10 years, however long we're with this show. I don't want to just continually compare the show to the comic and see what they've changed and what they haven't. So I'm just going to accept this show for how it is and let that play out. And I'm, I'm not going to kind of continually say like harp on about what they changed because no one benefits from that that never happens with any of kirkman's other shows so <laughs> <laughs> so yeah i'm going into this blind so i don't really have that much to say about it do you have anything else you want to say i know you just want to bounce off the walls and scream about how excited you are because i've been hearing this constantly <laughs> for the last however many months you've been super excited to start i've been the show. counting down the days it's gonna be so good please be good so anything else nope okay <laughs> Freaking hit play. I waited a decade, I need it. <laughs> so guys, if you liked our reaction, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified of any future uploads as soon as they come out. The link to our Twitter is down below in the description. Once again, if you want to talk about any comic spoilers for this show, then private message us over there and this one will get back to you. Apart from that, I feel like I might go to the shops you know go make some dinner like yeah. no hit play hit play now okay here we go let's do this thing you ready for next week what's next week superhuman evasion train i'm supposed to learn to tuck and roll away from a guy who can shoot lasers from his eyes it's the job you're awful calm about it you're not even gonna be here are you sucks to be you <laughs> i'll be living up in london Wait. Enjoy laser burn all freaking week two all of Matt's spring break. I thought you two hated each other with the burning fury of a thousand cells. <laughs> well, maybe a hundred. <laughs> Matt, he had it rough. He stared down his demons and he, he conquered them. So if he wants to go to London, Molly and I scraped together enough to make it happen. He's gonna die or something. Yeah, <laughs> horribly. <laughs> like 
Wonder Woman. Yeah. And then we had the Flash a minute ago. Yeah. Batman. Yep. I think Green that's meant to be Green Lantern. Lantern. Yeah. yeah. Superman, or is that meant to be invincible? Uh, that's Omni Man, his father. Okay. Who will probably show up momentarily. No, what about you? Bum, bum, bum. No, it's the immortal. No, he's a tool. doesn't like any of the other just, I guess they don't like him much either. The building is clear. Oh. <laughs> Wrecked. Slight overkill, but it was good. Sand. Not what? Looks like Dad's saving the White House. Looks like we won't be getting breakfast together this morning. It's the White House, Mom. Oh, they rebuilt that thing twice a year at this point. So he was reading Seance Dog on the toilet, and Science Dog is another one. There's a there's, there's um history that I'll explain it later. I just knew I'd seen it. It was on one of Carl's T-shirts, I think, in really? in Let's get you Walking nice. Dead. Costume. Boundaries, people. Bathroom doors are closed for a reason, and parents should never ever talk about sex. Couldn't you at least wait until I leave the house for college? <laughs> what were you thinking, Paris? Actually, I was kind of pulling for that little cafe in Berlin. Oh man, you guys are going to Best Worst? I love that place. <laughs> when your powers kick in, you can go on your own. Salt on the wound, Dad. <laughs> They've got to be due any day now, son. Even the latest bloomers on Biltrum will get their powers before what would be their 18th birthday. This guy's bye, own hopes up, I think. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Mala twins attack the White House. I can't believe the Guardians of the Globe let them get that close to killing the Guardians of the Globe. <laughs> yeah. And Omni Man was there too. You're such an Omni maniac. Sure, he's hot and all. Uh, sorry, okay. <laughs> I know you're crazy about me. Well, you are wrong. You know it. And you think that makes it okay for you to harass me? What, are you a lesbian or something? Yeah. Oh my god, I wish. Will you leave me alone then? I think Amber's been pretty clear about how she feels. Are you serious, Grayson? <laughs> <laughs> Still no powers. <laughs> So here, it's Stephen Young's voice. <laughs> yeah. Shading on his pants makes him look like he's wet himself. <laughs> Bin juice. Ugh, on the ass. <laughs> <laughs> Is that his? His powers have kicked in. Boosh. <laughs> That's so weird. <laughs> Just like, oh, oops. I also heated up some authentic German bratwurst flown in special today. I had a pretty interesting day. Sorry, I'm late. Honest to God, a dragon was attacking Hong Kong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, dragon, nice. Mark was getting ready to tell us how interesting his day was. Guess who's finally getting his powers? Are you sure? Pretty sure. Threw a trash bag into space. <laughs> One way. Your mother and I think it's time you knew the truth. Millions of miles from here is the planet Viltrum. Viltrumites are very similar to humans, except they can fly, move at super speed, and possess great strength. When our people come of age, we leave Viltrum and venture out into the galaxy. 
using our abilities to help lesser developed world. I volunteer to relocate to Earth That's when I met your mother. Way more interesting than how I met your mother. eventually had you. I know this is a lot to take in, but you're half Viltrumite, son. Things are going to start to change. <laughs> get acne. Your voice will start to crack as it begins to change. And you're going to start to develop super strength and speed, flight, the whole bit. I'm going to be able to fly? Yes, son. You're going to be able to fly. Flying would be a great power. I would definitely want flight. Ooh. Yeah. Don't look down. Stop looking down. I'm not going down. I'm going to fly up because I can fly. Not screw it. Leroy Jenkins. <laughs> that's, that's hovering. Hey. That's flying. <laughs> of course. The one plane. <laughs> Some serious vertigo. Oh, don't. Oh, shit. Is he losing pressure? Yeah, he's flown up too high. He can't breathe. Put that super durability to the test. <laughs> Fly time with Dad. Well, I'm guessing he's pretty indestructible, so that probably didn't hurt him, right? Yeah. He is invincible after all. Well, he's not, yeah, he's still just Mark. Put some pants on and let's get in the sky, my boy. Is he not wearing uh, pants? Put some coffee on. <laughs> it's kind of like how you walk and you don't think about balancing anymore. But when you were a baby, you did. You're a baby flyer right now. <laughs> you have to focus on staying upright. Focus on going the direction you want to go. Understand? Yeah. I think I got it. <laughs> it doesn't look like you do. <laughs> you can wear yourself out flying. Moving fast is like tensing a muscle. You're much better off if you relax from time to time. Use the momentum you're building to carry you forward. You don't want to fall, so you're going to have trouble relaxing. It's kind of like peeing your pants on purpose. What? Peeing your pants on purpose. <laughs> you spend your whole life trying not to pee your pants. So letting go, peeing your pants on purpose, it's next to impossible. <laughs> Tongue twister. Who would try that? Peeing you your pants on purpose. Seems flying is easy. Landing bit tricky. Okay, I guess that still counts as a landing. Get up. I'm actually getting used to this a little. That's not good. <laughs> Try to hit me. Really? Yeah. <laughs> Use your whole body. Now with us, we can freely move ourselves through physical space. That's how we fly. We can literally push off anything. <laughs> Good. But try it a little more like this. Get wrecked. <laughs> I know, son. I didn't mean to hit you so hard. Why did you do that? <laughs> You really want to do what I do, you have to be prepared for anything. No one is going to pull their punches. Oh, I injured the boy. Did you maybe push too far? Are you questioning me? What the hell has gotten into you? I, like his I don't head. know. I'm sorry. Mark got his powers so late, I wasn't prepared for this. I can't help but think maybe our lives would be better if he hadn't gotten them at all. Hey, Mark Grayson! Big mistake. Don't see Amber anywhere nearby to protect your sorry ass. Come on, hit me as hard as you can. Harder. Freak. I need something to punch. He just walked away, Mark. You missed your chance. <laughs> <laughs> Not the worst intro fighter suit I've seen. Sad <laughs> napkin over his nose. Aren't so good though. He's getting better. What about Asgard? 
ass kicker. <laughs> Sounds willfully childish. <laughs> you look ridiculous. Little ass kicker. Let's get out of here. You're taking me shopping? <laughs> Getting him a proper suit. Oh yeah. Getting a suit from you, Luke Skywalker. No. Brown dresses by day, indestructible super suits by night. <laughs> I'm Art Rosenbaum, kid. Wait, super suits? Am I getting a costume? He's a quick one, this kid. Pajamas all the time. Oh man, awesome! Do you have one that might work? What do you think? I don't know about the orange and yellow. Dad? Not your best work, Art. <laughs> I'm the guy for trying to move on sold merchandise. <laughs> I like the goggles. They keep the wind out of my eyes when I fly. I, I was really like hoping for something more uh, iconic. Of course you were. That's what everyone wants. <laughs> iconic. Your dad being who he is, I'm willing to put a lot of elbow grease into this one. I'm gonna need a little help from you. Have you decided on the name yet? I haven't really thought about it. Oh, having a name helps. Superhero name is the first thing I would think of. But, all right, I've got powers. What can I call myself? Mark. <laughs> oh, what's that? Still can't quite get the landing. <laughs> Practicing my landings. Yeah, I see that now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sorry about the art. I need to be better. You need to sleep. I need to practice. You have school. Get inside right now. Make me. Oh. Does that make you feel strong to know I can't physically make you do something? This is important. Remember when you were little and we talked almost every night before you went to bed? I can't talk to you while we soar through the clouds, but, but I'm still here. It's okay, sweetheart. I get it. You have to move away from the normal life with me and get used to being like your dad. But see, that's what I'm worried about. I'm nothing like dad. I'm more like you. I'm nothing special. <laughs> oh. Ow. A knife to the heart with this one. <laughs> you know what I mean. How can I possibly live up to all that? You don't have to be the greatest Omni-Man ever. You just have to be the greatest you. But what if the greatest me isn't enough? Mark, you stupid boy. How could the greatest you not be enough? I love my boring, powerless, everyday run-of-the-mill mom. And I love my asshole son. <laughs> <laughs> Debbie Grayson, one of the all-time MVP comic book mothers. You seem tired. Just got a lot on my mind, I guess. So, what is it? Are they throwing it around the world? I'm evasive base of it all, so... Uh, what if I can't do this? I do. Get ready. This is the beginning of a long journey for you and me. Along the way, you're going to need to do things you don't want to do, or might not think you can do. It's natural to doubt yourself. You'll do just fine. <laughs> <laughs> Kids your age think they're invincible and it holds them back. You're different. You actually are invincible. Ba -ba -ba. Got it. Okay, kid. Let's get to work. Is the animation style like the exact same in the comics? Straight off the fucking page. They had Ryan Utley, who was the second artist, working with them as a character consultant. Okay. So they nailed the designs. I mean, a few, a few have changed slightly, but... He went for no cape, but the goggles. <laughs> yeah. Not sure why he thought goggles were a good idea, considering how quickly the first ones got broken. Well, yeah, but the first ones were just ones he bought from home or something. He wants stuff to stop the wind going in his eyes, and this guy obviously makes superhuman suits or whatever. So True. You'd think they, they stood up to the weather a bit better. You would think. Whoa! Duh. Space lasers. First proper superhero fight. <laughs> it's like Robocop. <laughs> Robo dick. <laughs> he learns fast. Clearly, he wasn't paying attention about the part of lowering the collateral damage, though. Yeah. You might as well give up. Nine. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Longest intro ever. I just mean he is a fish person. 
I think you should maybe be nicer to him. It must be hard for him to make friends. He's got a whole ocean of friends. The same beer! What is this? Oh, my best. Joseph! <laughs> Uh, by the name, you are the worst. This is Ross Marquand. Yeah. Nice. I've been trying to place the voices, but so far, not so good. Apart from Invincible, his mum and dad. <laughs> the new rollout of Haven Storm was supposed to be free. I like her costume. Yeah. And the weird orb on the stick thing, giant lolly. It's meant to be a, it's meant to be a mace, stuck. but they've taken the spikes off, which is a bit weird. <laughs> Is that Sinequa? Yeah. Sam, Darkwing. Me can't be everywhere. Luckily, I don't have to be everywhere. Anywhere I'm needed. Pretty good line. Show <laughs> you know who plays him? Uh, that's Thingy. Um... Mahershala? No, that was no. the rock guy. Okay. I think that's uh, Sinequa's brother from Walking Dead. Oh, Chad uh, Coleman. Yeah, I'm blanking on the character's name. Tyrese. I'll check back with you tomorrow. <laughs> Every team needs a good mountain base. Can't be a superhero team without a secret mountain base. Darkwing's Lenny James. It's Morgan. Darkwing, why did you call us here? Me? So none of us signal the alert. What's going on? Get wrecked! Doesn't like the superheroes. <laughs> That's all the Flash guy does, really, is it? Like, Save everyone. Gets people out of the way. Oh no. Not for long. Oh dear. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh! Him into sushi. Justice League. Why? <laughs> Not so immortal then. Jesus. Why? <laughs> he looks upset about it now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, are all the Walking Dead cast voices that I was excited about being in the show all dead now? Yep. It was... <laughs> One of the funniest things. It was one of those moments where everyone that had read the series was like, ah! And all, when they were first announced that those guys were playing sort of the Guardians of the Globe, everyone was like, oh, he's just bringing in all his freaking Walking Dead friends to play the, the main characters. How cheap is that? And we were all just like, no, he's not. I'm kind of sad now. <laughs> yeah, they <laughs> like just all that. got absolutely By the time I wrecked. actually worked out who some of their voices were, they were all just dead. Yep, so. they got ruined in the first freaking episode. Because Omni-Man has all the powers and gives none of the fucks. Yeah, so there's obviously something up with him. Like, it's just weird watching it when you kind of know everything that's going on because... I'm, I'm really trying not to kind of telegraph any of the shocks by being like, ooh, 
<laughs> but it is quite hard sometimes. No, I know, but it's like if I get make guesses, normally we'd be able to kind of yeah. discuss it, and I yeah. kind of make guesses, and you're kind of like, Wah! you know, he he he. I clammed up a little. You just yeah. get all like you know you know you know it. So yeah, I don't know the dad. There's something up there, obviously. Yeah, he's. he's- it seems a bit weird that he'd kill all of them, even though... Although my main guess at the moment is general jealousy. Like, he... Well, that's what I thought earlier, because of his worries about... Mark. The kid, yeah. Mm. And, like, maybe he's worried that he's going to be more powerful than him. And the the other ones aren't more powerful than him, but... <laughs> As we just saw. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know why he's killed them all, but... um. Uh, just as a, as a threat, I don't I mean, know. Taking a step back, given what he goes through, and given that he just murdered the premier superhero team in the in the game, like it could be that he just doesn't want Mark to get into that life because he knows how much pain he will have to go through. I mean, he gave him one punch and knocked him out for about thirty seconds. Yeah, you can't throw your kid into the world of superheroics and not be a bit worried. Yeah, I thought about that. Maybe he's clearing them out. And I mean, for you know, he, his sake, but... he doesn't know how he doesn't know how strong Mark's going to get. So he, he may just think that Mark isn't strong enough, isn't prepared for what's to come. So maybe he's like, oh, you know, he's he's too weak. I'd rather he just stayed a normal human. He he could just stay my little boy rather than being another superhero. Maybe. Mm. I feel like you're bluffing me, though. Well, that, that means, what, <laughs> I, what I was trying to do is that is that's what I thought when I first read. Yeah. Like when I first read that issue, and so he was like, kind of. I, I, I feel like I don't think it's I don't think it's from you, but I feel like just from seeing the bits about Invincible myself, is that's the kind of impression I've got. There's something a bit darker going on with the dad rather than just him trying to protect his young son. Um, I mean, <laughs> so if, if his motives were that altruistic, there would be no reason to just straight up curb stomp the entire Guardians of the yeah. Goal. So yeah, that theory's gone out the window. <laughs> but thanks for trying. So, <laughs> uh, I mean, I don't know. There are... <laughs> yeah, it was funny. And yeah, pretty gory. Yeah, <laughs> they do not hold back. There's a reason this show is rated 18. Well, animation gore to me, like, I think it's just... It's never going to have the same effect no. as, like, watching, you Yeah, know? not at all. <laughs> just years of playing, like, computer games and stuff like that. Yeah. And I mean, you know, compare sort of the Guardians getting their head stomps to, like, some stuff we've seen in Walking Dead. Yeah. It, it The impact is greater in that because you're seeing well, real yeah, of people. Course. But... but I still, I mean, my, my main comparison in that, again, was kind of the boys. Yeah. I thought for, for that part was... Head popping. Yeah. Because that's how the boys kind of introed itself in its in its yeah. first episode was obviously some stuff that happens, which if you've seen the boys, you would know. But I'm not going to spoil for anybody else. But yeah, it kind of hits you with that with the gore and the violence and stuff. So yeah, I mean, I'm intrigued. I want to know what's going on with with the dad yeah. and yes. with Invincible. <laughs> I've kind of got it that, yeah half the characters we were talking about and I was like this cast is amazing like half of them are gone <laughs> but... yep to be fair the, the people that are left are still there's, there's some yeah. really great names in the remaining cast but yeah no all, pretty much all the Walking Dead alumni I I'm guessing gone. the the chick <laughs> at the school is his like love interest kind of thing Amber mm-hmm. yeah yeah it's quite interesting that, if you know, the school was called uh, Reginald Vell Johnson High School and the principal, that his design looks suspiciously like the actor Reginald Bell Johnson. So I'm wondering if they'll get him to do the voice of the guy, like, <laughs> or would that be too meta? Having like Reginald Bell Johnson actually voice the character that's based on him and is the principal of the school that's named after him. But it would be, cool. be a nice little touch if they did. So they had. Um, so he was reading Seance Dog. Yes, thank you, thank you. and like Science Dog. Yeah. Well, I know Science Dog. I think from Carl wearing a T-shirt of it in like season one or two of The Walking Dead, which was obviously then a nod to mm. Kirkman's comic, but they've changed it to Seance Dog in here. Yeah, basically. Do you know why? Yes, um, in in the like in in the books, he, uh, he, Mark is a huge huge Science Dog fan. Okay. There's also crossovers with like uh, Savage Dragons, Brits, um, Witchblade, and Spawn show up at one point. Like there's some big 
obviously because it's all, they're all in my image, so they, they're allowed to bounce around between the image. Like, I think Tech Jacket has his own book, then he shows up later on. The problem is, while Image, because they're all books written by, you know, published by the same company, they can cross over as much as they like. But apparently, legally, it's a bit harder to get, like, the, the, air, the, the air rights to have them in the show. Right. So they've had to tweak a couple of names. I'm guessing... We won't get Science Dog, we'll get Seance Dog, who seems to be based a bit on... His design seems a bit Doc Strange-inspired. We will probably not get Savage Dragon, but we might get, like, Angry Komodo or something. <laughs> you know, we won't get Tech Jacket, we'll get another Tony Stark clone. So I have a distinct suspicion that while there will be the big crossovers later on, unless they manage... Unless this, you know, explodes and they get super famous and they're allowed to just use the rights, we may see a few kind of similar but legally distinct names in the future. Because I, I saw an article saying about how they weren't allowed to use Science Dog and I was wondering because like, he, like, he reads the comics throughout the show. Yeah. There, there's multiple references to Science Dog. So I'm, I'm, I was wondering how they'd handle that and I thought changing it to Seance Dog is <laughs> a very, a very funny way to handle a very annoying legal problem, especially considering Science Dog, as you said, is Kirkman's book. He should be allowed to use his own freaking properties, but yeah, what can you do? So far, I'm just thinking about with the dad throughout, so far he seems to have like shown himself to be a pretty decent guy, like up yeah. until this point, the way he seems to treat the mum and like, you know, because even when invincible was like make me and she was like does that make you feel tough does it you know but it's kind of like i don't think the dad disrespects her like that no. so yeah i mean that's the biggest question mark i guess going into the next one yeah. is what is what what's is going that? on on there yeah and see what happens with with invincible so was that like everything that happened in this is that like the span of like the first comic issue or uh, a bit more than that okay it's i think that was Maybe about about the first volume, I think. Yeah, but probably okay. a, bit, a bit less than that. But no, yeah, no, no. There's, yeah, it's about the first two. I think maybe three issues. There's there, there's a an a event at the school which will probably happen in the next couple of episodes. That spoilers. <laughs> it's the main kind of <laughs> not watching it now. <laughs> of the first, yes, you are <laughs> I'm watching it right now. Uh, yeah, that was that was like the designs have just popped right obviously yeah, I was a few of them the have been style. a few of them have been updated and there's been a few tweaks here and there obviously the biggest change is amber who has completely changed because it was quite funny when they uh like in the in the book she's kind of like a, a i think she's blonde sort of blonde, blonde yeah. white girl and when they hired zatty beats to play her people were like oh my god that's like, a bit of a strange casting and then they just changed how the character looks to look more like zatty beats which i think is a, a solid option because she's really hot so now yeah like with the exception of Zazzy being a character now, um, everyone else is pretty much just stepped right off the page, and it's amazing. Yeah, I was wondering about the animation style, but because um, it took a little bit to get into, like from a non kind of yeah. cartoon or uh, animated show watcher that much, like because the mouth movements and stuff like that are a little bit different from obviously yeah. the speech. But yeah, I think like by the end of it, it's definitely sucked me in. Yeah. Good, good. Because I've got to say, like, it's generally accepted that the first three volumes of Invincible, like, so there's 25 volumes all told. The first three are good, but they're not great. There's an event at the end of the third volume that really kind of shows you what the show is meant to be. And so I'm guessing we'll probably get that at the end of the series because you're going to you're going to finish the series on a big, yeah. a big moment. How many episodes are there? Nine, I believe. So I wouldn't be surprised if they did three episodes per volume, more or less. Obviously, there'll be yeah a bit of a bit of kind of back and forth, but yeah, that. Well, this one was well, I thought because it sort of went to the invincible logo, so I thought it was just basically yeah the introduction of him in this in this episode, but then obviously we had all the <laughs> and I was like, is this post credits or is it? Oh no, this is like this is still the episode, but this is nuts. So yeah, that's when it went really crazy. Yeah, that <laughs> was that like. I, you couldn't pick a better place to end the first episode than there. It was yeah. a perfect, perfect choice. Just, yeah. Have you got anything else that you want to say before we wrap it up? No, I'm good. That was that was good. Very good. I hope you're 
your craving for the last however many months has been satisfied. <laughs> so guys, if you liked our reaction, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're notified of any future uploads as soon as we upload them. The link to our Twitter is down below in the description. If you want to discuss any comic book spoily stuff about Invincible, please keep it to just our direct messages yes. on Twitter where the hound will be responding to you. And apart from that, we'll see you next time. Take yeah. care.